problems with the offense in the red zone after the Virginia game. How do you improve in that area? Well, number one, it comes down to coaching. Uh, there were things that we did in that in that Virginia game that we can do better, like limiting the length of the play call and uh, simplifying things for Matt to get us uh, into the proper play. And then uh, as far as the players go, just when they get out there, once we do simplify things, just executing it better. You know, we've always, wherever I've been, we've always prided ourselves on being a good red zone team. So we're going to spend a lot of time on that this week, and, uh, and hopefully we'll see improvement. Bob Flanders in Harrisburg. Yeah, Bill, this is a question about Donovan Smith, your, your left tackle. How is he doing physically after a few games? It seems like he hasn't been able to finish uh, games, whether it's cramps or something else. And how important is it to get a full four quarters out of him? Well, it's very important. Uh, you know, he's an excellent young player. Uh, he's a he's a left tackle that's athletic and big and, and tough and uh, you know, he's had some bumps and bruises over the last couple games. He's day-to-day -day right now. Uh, you know, hopefully he can play and we'll know better as the week goes on. But, uh, yeah, we, you know, we, we want our best players out there for four quarters, and that's that's uh, that's important. So what did your running back situation look like this week with uh, Dylan Derrick being at probably the most partially injured? Right, those guys are day-to-day, -day, so not sure if they're going to be able to play. So it'll be Dukes. Um, It'll be, um, well, you'll probably, you know, again, you'll see Zwinak in there, two big guys, and then, you know, you may even see Michael Zordich do some things there. So uh, that's who we're going to go with right now, um, you know, and, and, and just keep, uh, you know, we've got a lot of depth there. You know, we've, we've got some six guys there that all can play and run the football and protect and catch the ball in the backfield. So uh, we'll, we'll, that's not a position that's lacking for depth. And I thought that uh, on Saturday, Derek Day ran very, very tough. Uh, Curtis Dukes went in there and ran tough. Zwinak did some good things. So, you know, that's a pretty, pretty solid position, and we just got to keep grinding away with those guys. Hi, Bill. You mentioned about um, Paul Jones's move, at least partially, to tight end. How has Paul taken that um, move? And is there any thought that he might not be happy with it and could, could leave? I mean, where, where are you guys at at this point with how he feels about it? Now, Paul and I uh, have a very good relationship, a very honest relationship. We've had a lot of discussions about his role on the team. He's a 260-pound guy that is athletic and, and loves to play football. And, uh, and you know, we feel, we feel like right now the best thing for us to do with him is to try him at this F position. Now, the F position is not really a, a, a true tight end. It's, it's somebody that can play out wide as a wide receiver. It's somebody that can play in a wing position in the formation. It's somebody that's a move guy. It's somebody that can line up in the backfield. And, and uh, Paul came out yesterday and played that position. He's also still a quarterback, so we're asking him to do a lot of different things. He's got a package of plays at quarterback, so if we needed him, he could do that too. So we're just trying to get our best players on the field, and he's certainly a guy that, that we've got to play, and that's on me and, and to get him into the game. Uh, yeah, hi, Bill. Um, now that you've uh, looked at the film a little bit, you know, coaches always talk about making that big leap from week one to week two. Do you feel like there are areas in which you made that leap and, and, and he did improve generally, and, and you know, in what areas do you feel like he improved? Well, I think we've improved a lot. I, I, I believe the first drive of the game was a 17 play, 75 yard drive that was fairly well executed, and we can play even better than we did on that drive. I, I, I believe where uh, on defense we, we made a lot of improvement from week one to week two. We, we really swarmed the ball in the running game. We got a lot of pressure on the quarterback. I mean, three step drop, he wasn't even able to to really step forward and get, get some on the throw. We've got to do a better job in, in some of our split safety coverages of making sure that we take care of the middle of the field and, and uh, making sure that, you know, third and 19, third and 16, that they don't get the first down. And I, and I think if, if we improve on that, we'll play well defensively, even better. Uh, I think special teams-wise, it's obvious. You know, we've got to do a better job with our field goal PAT unit. Uh, I, I believe our kickoff team did an excellent job. There's guys on that that really went down there and, and uh, really did an excellent job of covering kicks. I think our, our kickoff return team I've already talked about, our punt return team I've, I've spoken about, and I think our punt team did some nice things. We just, we got to get a little bit better punting. 
Uh, we faked one, and Glenn Carson did a nice job on that, a bunch of good blocks on that. So there's, there's always room for improvement there. Offensively, we've got to do a better job in the red zone. We can't take four turnovers from our defense and come away with only three points. That's ridiculous, and, and uh, we all know that. And it starts with coaching, and we just got to do a better job there. College kids, fan picking at 19 years old. There have really been a lot of vicious comments toward him on Twitter. You guys have to talk to the kids about staying away from that. And how do you feel about people really making some pretty vicious attacks on these kids at that point? Well, obviously, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, not just because it's a 19 year old college kid, it's just because, I mean, it's anonymous in some ways and in other ways it's not. I mean, but at the end of the day, you know, these guys are, are, are really playing hard, giving great effort for us um, to go on whatever, Facebook or Twitter or whatever and, and put stuff on there is just absolutely uh, ridiculous to me and very cowardly to be honest with you, but that's just my opinion. Uh, if people really knew these kids and understood uh, the effort that they put forth and, and, and how hard they play and how hard they train and how, how much it means to them, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know what type of people do that, but I don't, I don't know any people that do that personally, so. Did you give any thoughts opening the uh, kicking competition? To opening it up? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, to be honest with you, Gennaro, it's open every week. You know, we chart it. It's open every single week. We chart the kicks, we chart the accuracy, we chart uh, the percentages of kicks made, we chart the operation time. We, we, it's, it's really open every week. The long snapping duties are open every week and, and, uh, and we, we try to uh, make it a competition and let the best guy win. So it's not like it's just been, you know, uh, that Sam Ficken's been our, our kicker no matter what. We open it up every week and he's won the job every week. So that's what, we, what we've been doing from week one. From day one. And then also, how's how's Matt McLoyne doing? Do you expect to limit him in practice this week because of the elbow? Or? Uh, he looks all right to me. You know, he's a tough kid. He uh, he looks all right to me. Uh, he didn't throw yesterday. He uh, uh, he took yesterday off for throwing. He he handed off and things like that. But uh, he'll he'll be ready to go. He's a, he's a very tough kid. If anybody actually saw that play on tape, I mean, he got smashed in the elbow. So to 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 think that he came back and played in that game and. You know, to me, he played another solid football game. I'm sure, just like anybody else, there's some plays that he wished he could have back. But overall, he's played a, a solid year for us in two, you know, these last two games. So uh, he'll he'll be ready to go this week.